Hello everyone, this is Dave Briner again with Synergist Technologies. Back again with another quick inventor tip. Uh, I just happened to have the occasion this past week to create a, an unusual part um, you see on the screen. It's similar to something you see on the screen. And, uh, and I know there's a lot of different ways to it, create this and I'm saying you know, I could do it in sheet metal there's a lot of different ways you could probably do it and and then it finally came to me and I forgot that you know and I probably haven't used it in the longest time but there's a there's a bend feature to uh, being able to bend apart inside of inventor that that uh, I don't know I just I guess I just uh, overlooked and that's one reason I'm bringing this to you maybe uh, uh, you used it in the past and once again just forgot that this is available so let's take a quick look at it. Um, this is the part I'm going to try to simulate. And uh, so what I did is I just created my uh, my part as um, as a flat. So uh, one of the neat things, I mean, this this thing works uh, pretty neat. And um, just begin, start a sketch. And I'm just going to drop a sketch right on top here. And and uh, I'm going to show you a couple different ways. Um, I'll just let you know that uh, you start by uh, creating a sketch line and um, I'm just going to drop a, a line uh, and I'll go all the way through. I'll just put it someplace right here. Uh, I can dimension this line and uh, make it 1.75. That's just great. And, uh, and I'll finish. Now the only thing I don't like about this is just like any other sketch you know, I can't put multiple lines in here and do multiple bends at once. Uh, you do one one bend at a time, which um, I wasn't real thrilled about. But so I'm just going to go in here. I'm going to um, I'm going to choose that line, and and you're going to see that it gives me opportunity to bend it up down. Uh, I don't like this radius, so I'm just going to start with uh, two times the thickness, I guess. Uh, it's an eighth inch plate. And uh, let's go through some of the options here. I can uh, I can switch. Uh, all it does is really flip it. Um, I can go half, you know, from the center, and you'll see that it just does a uh, a 90 degree bend. And using my sketch line as the center radius. So um, good option. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, I can. It's pretty much the same as this, um, or uh, you can change flip direction. So uh, let's just uh, let's take what we got here, and I'll say uh, okay. Now uh, I'm going to apply. Let's apply another one here. So I'll start another sketch, and I'll drop a line. And this time I'm just going to put a line. Uh, Part way through, so you'll notice the other one I went um, started on the outside came through. This one's wholly inside the line. Uh, finish the sketch under uh, the modify. You'll see bend part. I'll select the line, and I'm going to flip that direction. I want to go the other way. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And again, you can uh, you can certainly change the degrees if you want. Uh, I can go 45. Um, not a big problem. I'll stick with 90 for this demonstration um, and we'll say okay and maybe just the last one I'll put a sketch line and again you saw that I went part way through I went halfway through I can go completely across the geometry uh, it's not a big concern so and again yeah just a reminder you can dimension these for accuracy and modify bend part I'll select the bend and you'll see that you get some you kinda get some odd flips here sometimes um, that's the one I really uh, want to get to um, it's probably pretty much the same thing 90 degrees as that it's just the orientation uh, and flipping but I'm going to leave it in that general direction. So there you have it. And um, looks pretty close to you know, my example. 
I just thought it was a pretty cool example. I kind of just completely forgot about it. They have it buried underneath, you know, the modify uh, panel. So, you know, here's another one. Uh, I have a simple uh, two by two angle here, and sometimes, you know, in general construction, you need to have a bent angle. I'm just going to come in, draw my bend line. And you can dimension this again, origin or uh, an edge. Uh, let's move that to 12 inches. Come my pull down, bend part, and I'm going to choose uh, 45. That's um, now you'll you'll notice one thing here. That's you know, I can bend the flip, uh, go to the center as I mentioned before. This is my preferred. But one thing it won't do is it's not going to bend the opposite way. I don't think it's going to compress the member, so um, I thought that was kind of interesting. Uh, I can change my radius if I want. I can go to 2 and, uh, you know, 22.5 or... So I can change uh, my bend angle 60 degrees. So, a lot of options here. Uh, 30. And, um, that's certainly a lot quicker, a lot easier than many other methods that you may want to go through. So, um, just one of those things I wanted to offer up. Uh, one that would kind of just generally overlook. Uh, sometimes I always just forget to go to the pull downs and see some other uh, options, or just one of those you don't use too often, and um, it's a nice option. So, um, don't forget it. Bend part. Um, there for you to use and uh, maybe I've used it in the past or maybe it's new. Uh, hope you enjoy it. Um, once again, uh, until later, uh, this is Dave Briner. Take care.